your source for everything paranormal. Para X. The views expressed and the opinions given by the individual host and their guests do not necessarily reflect those of Para X, its affiliates, or its sponsors. everybody we are here the calling radio show and I got Willow with me and Jerry is under the weather so Jerry is not with us tonight so he left it up to the ladies to get the calling radio show going so hi Woo-hoo! Willow how are you <laughs> I'm doing great riding that full moon energy wave oh there you go <laughs> oh I didn't think about that yeah Ooh, even the dancing <laughs> <laughs> so how are Careful you? How's lunatic. everything? I'm real good. There's a lot of lunatics out today driving. But yeah. other than that, you know, it's the full moon. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely the full moon. Yeah, you you know, I love the full moon though because it gives the good vibe and everything. And it's, I mean, how's the weather out there? How are you guys? It's hot. Um, did not okay. get any rain today, so okay. it's just hot and muggy, like a sauna. Okay. Okay. Like normal, <laughs> yeah. Us too. We're we're kind of sunny, and a little cool air is starting to happen now. It was a little bit brighter, and it rained like a couple of. I think it was like the night before. It rained really hard, but other than that, I mean, the weather's beautiful and everything's good. And I'm glad you are safe, and Louisiana is safe. So yeah, except for except for um Charles, I know they yeah. got pretty slammed. Yeah, some so, of my friends, yeah, I felt bad for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely for sure. So, today we're doing Paranormal Babble, so what are we going to talk about today? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, we started off talking about the full moon. Uh- <laughs> yeah, well, let, yeah, let's talk about the full moon, the vibrations yeah. of the moon. I think it's what do you actually... Do? Well, you know, I don't do hard. I don't do a lot unless I have to clean crystals and everything. Other than that, you know, I bring out my, um, which I do love, um, Moonstone because Moonstone oh, has that yeah. flash of beautiful blues in it, and it's an all white stone, and it's just, and sometimes it has, what is it, um, the little bit of black in it, and it's just, I, I don't, I just think it's an amazing stone, and I'm very oh, attracted yeah. to it just like a labyrinth and so I just go out there and I just do the cleansing and all that stuff with them and and stuff like that and even me I mean I just love you know putting my feet in the ground and just good I'm not gonna say worship the moon I kind of just let it I don't know I just feel like I do some kind of a guidance or some I don't know some kind of a I can't say even ritual I just feel like when I go out there I'm just like loving the moon and absorbing the energy from it you know what i mean oh yeah totally i mean if our crystals can do it so can we right Uh, oh yeah Um, definitely so actually on the full moon it's the bet one of the best times to do readings as well get out some tarot cards do readings yeah oh okay okay a lot more a lot of clarity right things will come through like uh connection to spirit things like that's a lot more strong around mm-hmm. the full moon and the new moon both right those are my favorite times of the month <laughs> yeah definitely it is it is one of my favorites as well and i love doing investigations during a full moon or an oh. eclipse moon you oh, know yeah. we had some really good amazing energy once we did an eclipse moon and the eclipse made of course you know the eclipse is um the full moon was really big and bright and i think they called it the blood moon when we had this amazing experience And we were at a location where we knew the trails and the trails aren't very big and everything. And for some odd reason, once that eclipse hit and it made everything dark and black, it all of a sudden we got lost. And these trails, you can't get lost. You cannot get lost. 
<laughs> and I just think it's just amazing what it does and the energy and the and the vibrations that you know like it just seemed like the woods came alive really oh, yeah you know and you felt like something following you and you see these like and it's just so dark in the era that we were in and you could just see things hovering over you and it was just so bizarre really so bizarre yeah. and there was nobody there or anything like that but that's what the moon can do it just livens up the energy around woods and oh, yeah. areas and hauntings and it's just amazing the energy it gives you well so. yeah think about what it does to animals my cats oh, yeah. have literally been running to, and yeah to off humans for two days yeah <laughs> to humans to yeah. humans definitely you know they always say how oh like they say the police officers it must be a full moon if everybody's acting out you know so yeah, yeah. And it's true. Hospitals are overrun. All kinds of stuff happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah it can so. be crazy. They say never travel on a full moon. You'll bleed more if you get injured. Really? Yeah. I've always <laughs> planned my trips away from full moons. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. I never even thought that. I never even thought of that or even heard of it, actually. But, yeah, I love the moon. I love, yeah. love the moon. But, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so what do you have, what have you been up to? Well, um, I've started going out a little bit on weekends back out to Jackson Square in the French Quarter here in that. Louisiana in New Orleans. Um, mm -hmm. Still really quiet. There's just really? no tourists. Yeah, I mean, well, they've closed our bars. So yeah. that's what everybody comes to New Orleans <laughs> for, the bars. <laughs> I you know, come for the food. Spirits. I'm sorry. New Orleans has the right. best food ever. Oh, I know. <laughs> but they come for our spirits and our spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And so, you know, it, and it's interesting because somebody asked me today how the spiritual energy has been or changed in the city since all of this has happened, right. um, you know, with, you know, no tourism. And, you know, and it's weird because I hadn't really thought about it a whole lot. But when I started to sit and think about it, it's like some of the spirits are lonely because they really like the energy, the vibration of all the partying and all of that. Right. They kind right. of feed off of that energy. Exactly. However, <laughs> but some of the older spirits that have been here since the time that the city started, like 1700s, I think they're enjoying the peace and quiet. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> that's what we have a lot of here right now. Right, right. So I, yeah, I totally believe that. I totally believe that. Yeah, especially yeah. over there because I mean I could imagine. Yeah, and you, they would probably get lonely at one point and say, well, yeah. you know, there's nothing there for them to, you know, feed off the energy. You know, so I could right. believe that. So did you have any any clientele at all? Um, I I think I did maybe five readings over the weekend. Okay, okay. You anything know, interesting? Interesting. Yeah, people come to me for a mostly spiritual advice mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. guidance and to connect with deceased loved ones. And so I had a like of a mix of all um, of that. And luckily yep. it was nice and quiet. I don't mm -hmm. do a lot of medium work out there when it's noisy. Right. And so it's been really quiet. I'm like, well, maybe that's why we need our quiet because now I'm helping others out there connect. Right. So that was kind of cool to have it a little bit more quiet. Yeah. Which I don't mind. I don't mind the quiet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, the quiet is a lot better to be truthful, especially if you do a reading in some sort, yeah. you know, because then you just get, a t the tension just is right there. But, yeah, I did see on Facebook that you were out there, and I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's yeah. really cool did that. Changed anyway. locations, but that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, anything coming up this weekend? Anything good? I'm going to go back out there, and hopefully it's going to be Labor Day weekend, so maybe some people will come to town. I'm not sure. Yeah. I do have some that are already booked to come in for private Oh, readings. there you go. So, yeah. yeah, people are planning the weekend, definitely. Right. So right. I think the, the hurricane held a lot of people back as well from visiting. So, right. you know, we get a lot of people from Texas. Oh, do you really? Real, yeah, it's a real quick trip. And so with the hurricane oh, hitting, that's true. They, the people that are coming in from Houston and stuff, they're like, no, you know, because they yeah. have to travel through all that damage. Right, and Some right, roads right. are probably still closed and things. I mean, they're probably cleaning up. So 
But that's right. all right. You know, we'll get back on track here soon, I, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, you will. I, I'm sure, you know, as soon as things start livening up and things will get a whole lot better, especially with this pandemic thing. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I just think that is. So tell me again, I want to, like, what is your background, Willow? Tell me your background. Okay. Well, background, like, spiritual yeah beliefs, spiritual or? what is what are, okay. what are your high what is what is you know your your um high what is the best of you and what what do you okay. do to prepare i want to know like you know what i mean it's it interesting yeah. it's interesting and intriguing especially with psychics you know because mm-hmm. everybody has their own way of doing things and right. you know and um just things like you know yeah, just go ahead and, and let me know what what do you do? What is your abilities? Well, um, the majority of the things that I do is connect with spirit guides and higher okay. dimensional beings. That's okay. really the the major part of what I do. Okay. Um, and besides that, I also will connect with deceased loved ones. I get a lot of requests for that. That's like okay. something that people need because they need the closure. Mm-hmm. They need to know that their loved ones are okay. So I do a lot of that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Good. I teach Reiki classes. I've got a new student, so I'm starting to teach her. Nice. And I love doing that work as well. So I do a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so I have my own reading room here in my house, so that's kind of cool. Never had that opportunity, you know, before I moved into this place. And the place is big enough to have this separated so right. clients can just come in here. But, right. yeah, I just connect with spirit guides and higher beings. Like, you can call them angels or just higher dimensional beings, mm-hmm. whatever you know, kind of want to call them. <laughs> yeah. I, always t- I always ask my people, you know, it's like, okay, do you believe in energy? Do you believe in spirit guides? Do you believe in angels, higher beings? And what do you, how do you want me to, you know, address it? Right. You know, I get right. all kinds of answers. Yeah, I believe in energy. That's it. Mm-hmm. Just energy. I'm like, good, because we're all made of that. <laughs> right. You know? Absolutely. So, so we're going to connect with your energy, and we're going to find right. out what you need to know. Um, so that that's kind of my way of doing things, you know? Yeah. So I know you read cards, too, don't you? I don't read cards. I just I can read people, in a sense. Okay. I don't, I don't use it like a psychic. Like, I don't say I'm a psychic. Uh, I can read homes. And I okay. can read businesses. Um, sometimes I like when another psychic is with me and we validate together. And yeah. that kind of guides me. And it, it really helps me to. And then it kind of I, it kind of opens me up a little bit more in that sense. And I don't know if it's because I'm reading the person, you know, the yeah. psychic in, in that sense. I don't know if that's what that is. Yeah. And usually it, I do pretty good, you know, just just like that in that particular thing and I do I do meditate you know I do a lot of praying of course because I am uh-huh. you know I, I have my higher power which is God you know and I do a lot yeah. of praying with that and everything but I'm really open to everything I'm I really do not I don't dabble in a lot of stuff I just feel like certain things and you can only I can only do so much you know what I mean like yeah and I try honestly I, I really do try not to tell people about like like psychic work I do like psychic advisory so like if I know who you what you do and I know this person does this and that person does that then I will tell this person you know the client and say well yeah here you know you can get in touch with this person I'm sure she can help you with that or or I'll I'll get a hold of that person and then tell them about the client you know because I don't know if if it if they take on clients or whatnot so like I would ask you for advice and Uh and or for the favor of the client and so that, that's why I learn about different religions and stuff like that so that way I, I'm not um, too um, dumb about certain things you know so I try to do things in that sense so um, but yeah so hey we have we have uh, Stevie B says wait let's see he says Willow do you do any readings over the chat line um, I don't really do it on chat, but I do FaceTime, I do phone readings, and I do Skype readings. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fast typist, 
<laughs> so for me to do a reading on chat is just it would take way too long and right. I really feel like you need that kind of verbal connection so mm -hmm. I would prefer to do it that way oh nice nice and then uh, Stevie says uh, Kat do you feel that some people have very strong shields around them yes I you know I sometimes think that people put up a shield you know from from being able to be able to read them I don't know mm. do you feel that way Willow on that oh part? yeah oh yeah I'll have I'll have people that'll tell me mm -hmm. well I have a really I don't know people can't read me because I have such a big wall I put a block up around myself I'm like really hold my hand <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's, and that's minute, a good the, that's good and the yeah. minute I connect physically with the hand holding, I yeah. get right through that wall that they put up. Well, that's what I'm thinking because it breaks the wall. You know, it you're does. touching them. And so they're concentrating on you, literally touching them. And they're like, okay, what are they doing? So then that kind of really takes off yeah. everything. You know, yeah. sensors they, are down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they'll look at me like, how'd you do that? very well I guess <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> absolutely absolutely I get that totally oh yeah so yeah so I do I feel like people do put shields and that they you can't sometimes read them um, yeah. sometimes even homes sometimes I can walk in a home I and I know this may seem bizarre because they don't but I think homes are a living thing too because when people are living in them mm -hmm. they're leaving all their energy in there do you know what I mean? I don't know if, if that's understandable, Willow, in a sense, because I think when 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 you're living in a home and so many people have lived in a home and they leave this residual energy, like say if uh, bad energy, good energy, you know, um, somebody who, like there's some people that can read a home and say, yeah, there used to be, you could feel that there was maybe a psychic or they knew, you know, that they were doing some kind of uh, paranormal or something, you know what I mean? Oh, but yeah. do you believe that? Do you, do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, I totally believe that we li leave an imprint of our energy in mm -hmm. homes, especially if we've lived there for a long time. Right. You know, the walls absorb that. Right. So it's like if I go into a, a building, I can go into a building in, in here in New Orleans and touch the wall. I see things. I can see pictures mm -hmm. of what happened there from the 1700s and oh, 1800s. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I believe that you should be able to read the house because the energies are still there. Yeah. You know, and even if the house is a newer house, um, the ground itself, the, ground, the land, has, the land has the energy. So it doesn't really matter if the house is only five years old. Mm -hmm. How old is the land that it sits on? What was yes. there before? Yes, and necessarily so you, yeah. people do not have to die for places to be hunted. No, I, I truly believe that. I truly believe that. I don't think people die in places. But if you're talking, if you're, if the land, if there's something that happened to the land, it was saturated with blood or evil or whatever, you know, whatever, I'm just yeah. throwing things out there, then I would believe that maybe things, if you put a new house, like you said, a brand new house, then it could be, become uh, haunted. Oh, in yeah. Some way. You know what I mean? In some totally. way. Totally. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I, I kind of, I truly believe in that stuff. And then it says here, let's see. Well, do you on the chat? It says, "How okay? So, how do either of you think about can people form vortexes, or does something else form them?" Hmm. That was well, easy. interesting. I would have to say that it depends. Mm -hmm. What I have found, if there is like a vortex if there is like a portal, if that's also maybe what he's talking about there. Right. Um, a vortex is a, a actual swirling of energy, okay? okay? Okay. Certain, I guess certain magical work may do that, but uh -huh. vortexes are generally a natural occurring thing. Right, I a was just, A portal yep. is different. Different, okay? yep, and that's, a, that's when you, either a portal is something that somebody else helps open, and that yes. right? Am I yes. right? Totally. Or and and that way the spirits can come through or whatever else comes through. I, you know, and I do believe that vortexes because a lot of vortexes are out like in um, 
the woods, you could feel the energy yes. and you could see the trees bend a little bit and, yes. you know, and that's what vortexes are, you know, right. I, I truly believe they're natural. They're more of a natural. Yeah. Than, it's like, you know, the energy of ley lines is, is similar as well, you know, right. when they cross. Right. But right. I think the vortex is like, I've been to Sedona and seen the beautiful tree vortexes, you oh, know, and yeah. they're all twisted and I'm like, wow. And you yeah. can just stand there and feel the energy. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's like, so, yeah. It, to me, you're right. It's it's like magnetic. When you're on a lot of these arch trees, you know, because, of course, yeah. I go with squatchers and they we do a lot of squatching up, the, up in the North Woods. But, and, but that land is old. You know, that land is right. completely old. And a lot of nature, winds, um, rain, that brings all the vortex. I think that helps build vort vortexes in that oh, sense. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, so when trees are growing in a certain place and all of a sudden you just see these trees just kind of arching and if you're underneath them, you can feel like a magnetizing type of feeling. I, I think yep. that's how I feel sometimes, you know, and sometimes well, your yeah. your hair, hair stands up on end. Yep. and Yeah, so I, I really believe in the vortexes are natural and yeah. portals are more of an opening for like someone who opened or yeah. maybe just even in in a in a general type, you know, op type of um, opening for for spirits to come through. Right, like a mirror. What about a mirror is a portal? Right, a lot of times. Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What about animals? Do you think they come through those types of portals, or do you think they're naturally just because they're from the woods? In in that sense, you know what I mean? You know, I think they could. I mm -hmm. have never physically seen that happen. Okay. But I would assume that it is very possible. Right. Um, and and we can look at different types of portals, too. I mean, you know, let's look at, like, a, I don't want to call it a time traveler. It could be like that. But, like, mm -hmm. a portal where we see uh, alien ships come in. Okay. Okay. Yep. They could yep. pop in and out, right? Well, why not having that on the Earth as well? With all of the, the magnetic energy of the Earth, all of that, why not? I, I believe that even when we see certain ships coming in, mm -hmm. they go into certain spots for a reason. And right. that could be very well that there are like portals or, or energy entryways. Right. And why not? Why couldn't animals from other dimensions come in? Right. I mean, Absolutely. look at all our cryptids. I know. I know, you know absolutely. And then Where'd they you, all come from. Exactly. And then to this day, you know, they say there are so many different creatures. Like every so many years, there'll be a brand new creature or new insect that looks like an alien or, right. or some kind of fish that came from way beneath the deep, you know, yes. like where it's black, you know, right. and they, they, like, I, like we said, the vortexing type of thing, you know, where they develop and all of a sudden, like, another 10 years we have something totally different that looks like this alien in the deep sea you know right yeah I think it's just interesting how you see things that way so um let's see so Steve B also says are there any devices out there that can detect dimensions oh that's a good one that is a good one um I know we have Karelian photography that can take a picture of our auras Mm -hmm. um, but to see dimensions, well, now now that I, I think about it, there actually was some scientists, and I can't, don't quote me on it, but I remember reading about it, okay. that they actually were able to photograph different dimensional beings that you could not see with the naked eye. I okay. don't know what they were using. But okay. that that is something they were showing other dimensional beings is what they right. said. Right. Well, but I, I don't remember too much about so it. So I have I have a thought on this one because we I use my cameras a lot and I use the point and shoots and mm -hmm. sometimes I see this like white light, you know, very very dim, very um like 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 milky looking and it's white and it comes up from the and yeah maybe it is like a reflection maybe of some sort but sometimes I even think 
Ooh, what is that? Is this some kind of energy coming from the sky and to the earth, inside the earth? Yeah. You know, sometimes you can get some really pretty cool pics. Like I have some really crazy pictures in that sense. And maybe in, even in photos you could get some type of vortex. But I also know you can feel them. You know, yeah. you can feel the energy in them. And there was um, one one time we went to the old town, San Diego. Mm-hmm. And the house that's right there, uh, gosh, I can't even remember the, the house. But it's the first courthouse, the first house, um, the, I think it's called the Waverly, not the Waverly. Yeah, Waverly House. And it was the first, first courthouse. First place that they hung people. Um, mm-hmm. They have a cem- it's built right over a c- cemetery ground. So they oh, wow. on the side of that house they have a vortex, and he literally shows you how to feel it. You know, oh. he shows you oh, how wow. to feel the vortex, and you can feel like like an energy. Or when you stand there, you know, sometimes I I even think that. Well, there was one time we went to this place called um, Walcott and Jerry was with us and he showed us that Walcott even had a vortex because when yeah. a couple of our people were walking behind these trees that's where the vortex started and when we're sitting there yelling at them yelling at them they didn't even heard, hear a word we said and we yeah. weren't even that far from them you know I wish Jerry was here to validate that because it, it's crazy how you can't hear anything, and I think that's a vortex. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think well, you can it, feel it yeah. in here. Go ahead. So, Go ahead, Will. So one of the things that I was going to say, you know, how the sound is gone, right? Right. Um, when you're there. Well, that happens to me if a spirit walks into me. I can't hear. Right. The sound is gone. It's like somebody put their hands over my ears. Right. So you're going through energy, and that's really what that is. So whether it's a spirit walking through you or somebody is standing in that middle of that vortex energy, mm-hmm. it, it, it's like a sound barrier. You can't hear. It's the right. weirdest thing. Now, but yeah, I just love it. I have a question. Do you think that there's portals in everyone's home? I would have to say there could be okay. if they believe it for okay. one because okay. their energy alone could open one you okay. know, just their yep. beliefs that's true um, if they have let's say an antique mirror um, mm-hmm. things like that I happen to own two of those and I have portal mirrors I just tell everybody they're in my they're in my seance room they are portal mirrors um, and so I think everyone could very easily have a portal in their home but I've gone in and found them in closets in homes yes. and closed them because you know you don't need that energy coming in all the time gotta close that door right so right. I will do a spiritual cleansing and close the door basically right. um, but some of them can't be closed because there mm-hmm. was a friend of mine who had an apartment and she had get this on a closet door was a full length mirror mm-hmm. and the closet was a portal and this building was built in 1911 and it was an apartment building and it was like Grand Central Station coming wow. into her bedroom and really? she was like having all kinds of weird things a spirit took a picture with her phone at like 3am as it lifted her foot up off the bed and her and her, her fiance were sound asleep. Crazy. That is it too was crazy. Nuts. And you could see I believe it. the energy. You know, I could see the energy around the foot. I'm like, that's a hand holding up mm-hmm. your foot. That was right. it was crazy. I'm like, why? Why don't you want me to and so I tried to close that portal and I couldn't uh-huh. do it. Was this it in was, an apartment that it was it's in? It's in a yeah, it's an apartment. In, okay. um, and it's in the very old uptown area. In yeah, so you would, and you would think that if it's an apartment, of course, like there's so much energy, oh. and especially in the town, that could I could imagine I could totally so imagine. many people, so many people had died in that building, and they just kept wow. wanting to leave. They were kind of stuck. I opened the door and let them all go <laughs> that wanted to leave. Yeah, because they were yeah. stuck. Not everything said, no. leaves either. I'll no, tell they you don't. That. Not no, everything they don't. wants to leave. No, they Mm-mm. don't. They're they, they're afraid of what's on the other side, or 
they just like it there. Yeah. <laughs> they don't I get a go. lot of, the, I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. That's Honestly, I do. Home. Yeah, yep. this is my That's house. their I'm home. This is my, I'm not leaving. Well, then I tell them, you know, you got to, you got to, then you need to not bother these people that are living here now and they're taking care of your home. Right. You know, that's yeah. how I, I do it. That's yep. what I tell them, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. I really like the fact of portals and vortexes and stuff like that. I love, love um, energy. So here's Kat. Wait, hold on. Walcott has a vortex. Wait, wait. I mean, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting up here. Are there devices that are that can detect? Okay. So here, Stevie B says, Walcott has a vortex around the area where they bury babies. Yes. Had died from females that got pregnant. Yes, that's true. That's where the vortex, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And guess oh, what, wow. everybody? We are on a break. So we'll be right back. Hi, this is Barry Fitzgerald from GHI, and you're listening to the Para-X Radio Network. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die, but only retire a little from sight and afterwards return again. Nothing is dead. People find themselves dead and endure the mock funerals and mournful obituaries. And there they stand, looking out the window, sound and well, in some new and strange disguise. The secret must be told to the world, and they must tell it. Because they are not dead, we know this, and we'll prove it. So join Mike and Dave every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central for the Odyssey Files, only on Parax. In order for the light to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. Tune in every Monday at 10 o'clock. The Dark Sun Rising on the Para-X Radio Network. Another amazing season full of paranormal celebrity interviews with amazing guests and stories of haunted locations and so much more. You will hear it first on Para X. Tune in Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Central. You will not be disappointed. We are back, and you got us on the Colleen Radio Show. It's me and Willow. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. And we, I just want to plug in for Jerry because we got the gathering, Stephanie and Heidi, and they are on every Tuesday night at eight o'clock. And they talk about the mid, mid physical, they talk about paranormal, they talk about the paranormal smorgasbord. They are awesome ladies. You can hear them every Tuesday at 8 p.m. And then right after our show, we can hear Geeks Paranormal, another couple of ladies. Let's, let's cheer on for the ladies. Um, another beautiful ladies that are, are very good and into the paranormal. Love, love listening to their show as well. And don't forget, if you guys ever, ever want to, you miss the Calling Radio show, don't forget, Jerry tries to get the show back on that you miss the next day. So if you ever want, go to the calling, um, go, go to the calling.com. I hope I say this right. Dot com. <laughs> and that is it. So we and Willow were talking about portals and stuff like that. And yes, I wanted to, re- just before we just um, went on break, cause I was like already re- late for break. We, um, Stevie B was talking about um, Walcott and the vortexes around the area where they born bury the babies that died from females that got pregnant. Yes, you're right, Stevie. And that's, Stephen, we actually were on that location, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. 
So, yes, it's pretty interesting how these unmarked graves and, you know, of course, I think there's a lot of energy and there's also a protector out there. He protects those babies in the on those um, unmarked graves. So, yeah. So anyways, so, yeah. So we were talking about vortexes and I think it's interesting how Willow was talking about a mirror, about mirror and, and portals. So, yes, that's mirrors actually do have portals and we were just talking about too about how her friend had this mirror you said right yeah yeah it was on the door of the closet that was the main portal so right they were they had this perfect doorway that they could just come through all the time right and you know this is what's interesting so when willow was saying that i had this one well it wasn't really a case but they were asking me um, about reading their daughter because she had a little bit of, um, you know, she has, um, she's autism. And they were asking me to read the, their daughter, but she she's a functional autism, you know, mm-hmm. and she functions and everything. And But sometimes she can take off at night, you know, she's a young, beautiful lady, you know, yeah. and sometimes she can take off and she has some little bit of trouble sometimes. So she, they were asking me, you know, can you read her? You know, what is what is going on? Lately, she's been acting out. And I said, well, all of a sudden, every time he was talking about her, I could see this mirror. Okay. And, oh. But I wouldn't mention it to him at all. And I was like, because, you know, what I read is I see mirrors. It'll, it'll say mirror, mirror. You know, it's just giving me this, yeah. this head up up and as he's talking about his daughter what she's been doing you know and all of a sudden I keep seeing this mirror and kept seeing this mirror well anyways she was in her bedroom and I was walking by the room past the room to go to the restroom we were all there with our families and because we're related um through my nephew and um that's his family and you know it kept telling me mirror mirror and then I kept telling him well, there's something in her room, you know, and, you know, but I yeah. was so afraid to say it, you know, and sure enough, I see this huge mirror and she's talking in it. Oh, what do you, what do you say about that? Willow? I, I told him to get say, rid of the mirror. <laughs> I did. Well, you could, but if it's already come through, you're just, now okay. it's stuck, you know, right. now it has nowhere to go. So um, I think it took it takes advantage of her for the fact is that she has yes. autism, right? Yes. yes. Um. Uh. Especially negative spirits, they will feed off of anybody who has, um, a weakened mind, okay. or uh, are ill. Um. They will. They go after the vulnerable. Okay. okay. Yeah. And she probably thinks younger than maybe yes. her age, right? Right. Absolutely. So they're going after her for that reason. Yes. Um, and so she can see them. She's got gifts. Yeah. I she think has so too. Gifts. And yeah. that's why and she might be taking off because she's she's trying to get away from them. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was I've been watching the reruns of Psychic Kids over the last couple of days while I've been sewing masks. Yeah. And I'm and that just clicked when you said that. I'm like, she's got psychic abilities. Right. And That's... she doesn't know how to, to um, explain it to right. her family. Yeah, and that's because she has this autism, you know, so it's much yeah. harder for her to help them realize. And it's the funny thing is that the house before they lived in, they had a ghost boy where she oh. would talk to him a lot. So, oh. yeah. Don't you think that's yeah. interesting? I think that's yeah. really interesting how you say, say that. And I just think it's so crazy and bizarre. But, yeah, I I um, I um, just knew, like, right after, when I saw that, I was so blown away. And the mirror is huge, Willow. I mean, it's a oh, this huge yeah. mirror. And so I can imagine what it could do. You know what I mean? Right. And I told him, you know what, I think you need to just, like, maybe – cover that mirror or get rid of the mirror or something because she's it's keeping her intrigued it's keeping her and she stays in her room a lot and she was talking to the mirror you know and that's this is just her autism you know because she has you know autism she you know she speaks through you know she's just speaking you know but to me when I saw her speaking through the mirror and that just telling me that I just knew right off the bat that's what it was oh yeah 
Yeah. I mean, I even have my mirrors in my bedroom because I had a closet when I moved into this place that's mirrored doors mm-hmm. on my closet, you know, those folding doors. I covered it with a curtain because I don't want to have that energy. Right. I already get bombarded at night by spirits. I didn't need to help them <laughs> right. to come in and bother me. So we just cover that mirror up and it's like, nope, I don't want to see that. You know, I don't so, need you to come that way. Here's another one. Here's another question, Willow. What yeah. do you do? To not be bombarded. Oh, okay. Well, first off, I learned by accident when I was about nine years old that I could just tell spirits to leave me alone. Not now. Okay. You know, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Well, they do. If you tell them to leave, it's kind of like if you have somebody that's in your bedroom, let's say, and you don't really want them in your bedroom and you just say, you need to go, they're going to leave your room. Or if they're, you know, stubborn, they might argue with you, but you can do the same thing with spirits. Mm -hmm. So it's really that simple for me to shut it off. Okay. Um, Because, yeah, I would be bombarded. Now, they do like to come in my dreams because that's when I drop my wall because I'm Mm -hmm. asleep, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in that twilight, just before I go into my REM sleep, that's when they will try to come in and they do come into dreams sometimes. And, but generally if my mother brings them in, that's fine. Cause she's like my technician. So right. um, she will bring spirits that I need to talk to, to me. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Right. Um, they're not allowed to come without the escort. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. They have to have the, my, my mom has to bring them to mm-hmm. me or I'm not going to converse with them. Right. Um, right. But The way I've done it, and and I recommend this to anybody that's been getting bombarded by spirits, especially in their sleep, you sage, smudge your room before Mm -hmm. you go to sleep at night or use Mm -hmm. uh, some sort of a smudge or use Florida water. Do something to Mm -hmm. cleanse or bless the area because that's your sacred space when you are sleeping. Um, it, It makes me nervous. Like, I don't ever want to have like surgery because Mm -hmm. I would be unconscious. Well, guess what? They can come in and do whatever they want and talk to me during (laughs) the time. I'm like, I don't think so. So like I will do anything to heal my body. So I don't ever have to do that. Well, I got to tell you this. This is so funny. I went and had surgery, knee surgery. Uh And, you know, this is when I was really like, really getting bombarded and I didn't really know how to control it. Not, not too well, you know? Right. And it was funny because I went under and when I got home, I was so groggy, right? Mm -hmm. I was so groggy. All of a sudden I, I get up because he's, you know, you can't put no weight on your knee. Once you have a scope done in your knee, you can't put no weight at all. So my husband's helping me and I'm so groggy and everything. And I'm like, um, who's that lady walking through our kitchen? And you see this lady, I'm not kidding. It was, she was gray, transparent, gray with stringy hair and a long nightgown. And she was walking through our kitchen. And I was like, who's that lady? And he's like, huh? And then I realized, you know, because I'm, I'm kind of groggy and I'm trying to sit up right and, and whatnot. And I just see her just coming on through the kitchen. And I'm like, Oh yeah. So yeah, you can't be, (laughs) Oh, they don't, Mm. they don't care. No, they don't. And (laughs) also they can connect with you and you can bring them home. Oh, 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 now I get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She hitched a ride while you were unconscious. (laughs) Right. Right. And I mean, she didn't do any harm or anything. She just passed on through like if she was, Going somewhere, I honestly thought it was just somebody from the outside coming in. You know, well, probably you're right. right. You know? yeah. <laughs> she was. <laughs> I didn't think about that at all. So yeah, yeah, yep. I think I I do get that though. When I'm in a hospital, I can hit. They can hitch. They can. They definitely yeah. have experiences. Definitely. Yeah, I was I was happy when they did my cataract surgery because I was still awake. <laughs> yeah, they just <laughs> numbed my eyes. I'm like, good. I don't care. Just don't put me under. <laughs> I don't want to bring anybody else home with me. Right, right. See, I get that. Now that's a total validation right there if you didn't have it. <laughs> now I get it. Um, so anyways, let's see. Um, it says, my yardstick. Okay, so 
cat says, my yardstick detects dimensions, width, and height. And then Steve B says, a millimeter seems to seems to go to two when I next to any mirror. Try it sometimes. Oh, I didn't know Ooh. that. Huh. And then Stevie B says too, Stephen B says, seems like almost all insane asylums are haunted. Now how does that now how it how now how does it make sense? So I yeah, exactly, because we were talking about like certain people with you know, autisms and stuff like that and different. Yeah. People. And you know what, to be honest, you know, back in time, people would just put people in a sale asylum just because, you know, oh, yeah. a man may wanted an affair and he would throw his wife because she went off crazy. Of course, you know, right. women are crazy as it is, but right. you know, she got upset. They go in so the menopause, in there. you're crazy. Yep. She's crazy. She yep. Put her in there. Yep. So I mean, mentally the, uh, children, you know, people that couldn't even, they would just stick them in places like yeah. that. Yeah. So, and, and yeah, I, I would think total assailants are, uh, very haunted. Oh um, yeah. Very haunted. So I, absorbed I just Absorbed in the walls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely yep. absorbed in the walls. And you know, there's a lot of like, um, portals too. You can feel a lot of the energy in portals oh, in yeah. the asylums yep. as well. So, yeah, and I, I kind of get that and you could, I don't know, I've, I've gone through some of them and they're pretty, it's pretty amazing the stuff you can get from them on its own. So, yeah. So, yeah. So I just think it's interesting though, but portals are really interesting. Mirrors are very interesting as well. So what about you, Hello, Got anything, anything you want to ask? Well, I was just curious about your background. I have never really known what yours is? Mine's is just so I don't have I don't call myself a psychic. I kind of call myself like someone who has abilities. Um, you know, just I don't even call them gifts. I just think we all have some type of abilities, and um, you know, more than some others because some are more open to them as well. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I I believe that. Um, I, I sometimes think that I could have been some kind of a, a witch back in time. Sometimes I believe that because of uh-huh. some of the things that I'm attracted to and Native American type uh-huh. too. I believe yeah. that I'm also that type of a healer, like a healing, uh-huh. hands-on healing. Um, I don't use it a lot, but I do use it like if my mom's not feeling good, so I'll just put my hands on her, kind of caress her because that – and, you know, you people can do that it's an automatic thing. You know, when you're a mother, right. you kind of console your daughter or your son, you know, when they're crying or hurt or when, see, we have that natural gift. We, we do. totally yeah. have that natural gift. So yeah, I, I have that, that type of, I think just in nature and, and I think I'm more of a healer than anything as well. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. And I've experienced the paranormal since I was 12 years old. I saw my, well, it wasn't my first apparition. It it was my full apparition, I should say. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. that I, I saw. And um, some people say it's the hat man. Some people say, I believe it's my brother because he used to wear a fedora hat with a long trench coat. Oh, oh yeah. Um, some people. And because uh, when I saw this, my brother had just passed away. And my brother, my little brother was having experiences as well. So he was having nightmares, like horrible nightmares. But he was super little. He was super little. And oh. I was seeing things too. And this was not even, I want to say, within, not even three days within my brother's death, I would say. So that's when I see seen the full apparition. But also, too, there was a lot of things in that house because it was a very old house uh-huh. and a lot of um, energy in there. And then I knew I had those types of abilities since I was a young girl. So, yeah. So, yeah. And that's what got me interested in the paranormal, to be truthful. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's, well, that's, you've used them. That's more than a lot of people will do. You know, <laughs> I, I really believe that if we have any gifts, we should use them to help other people. And it sounds like that's what you're doing. And what I would say, I would call you a sensitive. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because you can, you can sense the energies, you can sense the spirits, you've seen the spirits. Right. And that's but, funny because yeah. honestly, there's a lot, I've seen a lot, you know what I mean? Like I experienced the, the, the apparitions, I experienced the feeling, I experienced the scene through physical, you know, I could see like when I read the homes, I can see like, it reminds me of an old time movie. Like, yeah. you know, um, going through my mind and I could, so it's a lot, a little bit of everything I've yeah. seen. That's why I can't really just say, oh, I'm this, you know what I mean? Or, right. you know, so I just feel, I just say, I, I'm just a psychic advisor. <laughs> I just, I can yep. advise you to help you in some sense of way. And that's what it's all about for me, Willow, is truly yeah. helping somebody and especially children. Children oh, are yeah. so you know, children with autism, children with, you know, disabilities, children with, because I had a disability and I really Mm -hmm. believe that they do, especially higher stuff that, you know, with more energy, they really try to, um, not so much scare or whatnot, but I just think that they really use children in a sense, especially children that don't have most, uh, some types of, of abilities that, you know that hinder them in that sense oh yeah yeah so yeah yeah um now i I was gonna ask you something it like totally (laughs) left my mind i hate that (laughs) getting old (laughs) (laughs) no but i just i really think that let's see i'm gonna see if anybody i do believe in people with capabilities and and helping people i love helping people of course and it's such a satisfaction when you're out there and somebody can validate what you see, I love yeah. that. I, and, and it's not to say, Oh, look at I was right. No, it wasn't not that. It's just like, thank God. You know, I'm like, right. Thank you, thank you for I'm, helping. Thank you for I'm helping that crazy. person. Right. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Yeah. You, you help them realize that they're okay. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it when parents will bring their child to me. Uh-huh. Because their child is seeing things and they don't know how to help them. Yeah. Yeah. And I get psychic kids. I love my psychic kids that come to me. They are right. so amazing. Right. And, you know, I help them through some of their fears, you know, and that's really awesome. Right. Um, it just makes me feel satisfied. You know, it's like, finally, you know, it's, it's very, it's gratifying that I can actually help a young person. I didn't have anybody to help me when I was little. Mm-hmm. I always say, man, I wished I had somebody I could have talked to and confided in that would believe me. Right. When I right. was seeing these things that my mom refused to believe me. Mm-hmm. And yet she knew the house was haunted. She didn't want to scare me. And I was yeah. like, yeah, you did say that. I remember it you makes no that. sense, you know. Um, but I wish that, you know, I can help children. Yeah, that are going through this because we have so many children that are more awakened, the more um, as you know, society goes on and, and, you know, we get further along in this planetary awakening, I'm finding children are coming in already awoke. Woke. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they already have a lot of these gifts that they don't know how to, to deal with them. Right. Um, and their parents don't know how because they don't have them. Right. Absolutely. Or they don't, they don't know nothing about it. So, it, you right. know, once they say, oh, I see this, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, no, no, just go to sleep, go to sleep. You know, that right. I would, honestly, I would die if I, if I, you know, when I told my mom about the apparition when, when I was younger and I told her about it, like immediately she's like, that was your brother, honey. You know, immediately I was like, right. Oh, okay. Now I feel better. You know what I mean? It just, right. seemed, it just seemed, she just comforted and she, but see, that's how I knew she knew things. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Well, they don't, yep. your parents, your mother doesn't talk about it because they don't sometimes want you to fall full blown. And I kind of get what your mom was trying to protect you in yeah. that sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have to learn it little by little. And that right. Says, yeah. Now, now my mom says, it's so funny because she's old. She's a lot older. And she just says, oh, you're just crazy. You're just crazy, sweetheart. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> mom, you said this, you know. And she's like, she just laughs. She thinks it's hilarious. But oh, I think yeah. even my grand, my great grandmother had abilities as well. So, yeah, oh, I just yeah. I just think that it, it and sometimes it is 
it it's inherited through a lot of your um you know your, yeah. your great grandmother your grandfather yeah. whoever had these types of abilities in some sorts you well know? yeah for for me it was my my grandmother yeah you know yeah and she was from ireland right so we have that oh yeah background yeah and ireland she was the seer and then it skipped all of my mom's generation none of my aunts or uncles really? or my mom had a gift uh-huh. and then i got it and uh-huh. then none of my children got it but my grandson got it oh yeah my first grandson got it yeah. so yeah i think i think yeah. my nephew has it my nephew ah. so I, I it's just funny but like my angels told me right away you need to go visit your nephew because he was he was very sick. He was in an incubator. Oh. And so I he said they my angels told me or my spirit guides I should say. So the the next day I told my husband we need to go. It's time to go. We have to go see him right away. And sure enough, um I don't I don't know why I said this and I said I said, wake up, honey. It's time to wake up and I patted his little leg, you know, and he's in the yeah. incubator full of like things all over him and yeah. the next day he was awake and oh, it's time wow. the angels it's time to heal you know and i don't know why i did that willow but that's what i had to go do and sure oh, enough yeah. you know and i just knew that that and i told my sister i said i knew and she's it was just crazy and then he did have like a lapse a little bit but then yeah. again you know we were still around him so we i told him you know come on angels you need to help him you know Oh, this definitely. Yeah. So I, I just knew, you know, just patted him. Little, come on, baby, it's time to wake up now. No uh-huh. more. You know, it's so yep, so crazy and bizarre. But if you look at him, you could tell that you know. You know and he already is seeing things. He he talks to people, yeah. and things people that are not there. So my sister's wigging out. <laughs> <laughs> well, generally when a baby goes through a lot like that, they mm-hmm. do come out of that with gifts. Right, there's right. There's a reason why they survive. Exactly. They have a higher purpose. Exactly. So, yeah. I just think it's really interesting. So, I hope I hope that I'll be part of I'll probably be part of his teaching. So, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, let me see if we can catch up because we only have like a few minutes. It says, seems, uh, okay, so Steve says, seems like most, okay, yep. And then Steve says, Willow, that is wonderful. Gifts helping children and that needed someone to help explain about their abilities. Yep. Uh, that's true. That is true. Yeah. You, ha- you have to be there for children. You can't just yeah. say, Nope, that's not what you're seeing. Nope. You just have to go with the flow with children and kind of help them through it. You know, you have to just guide them and not freak them out. You know, talk about all this craziness. Just let them learn on their own. That's how I feel, that you just let them learn, you know, and but be there to guide them and be there to teach them. You know what I mean? And and should tell them about your experiences, you know. I'll, I'll even have parents come and just ask me, you know, without their children explain Mm -hmm. to me what their child is going through and I'll go well there's a spirit in your house and obviously your child is talking to them you know right and so the parents then after talking to me are better able to help their child right and so that helps as well so it's not always just me working with that child but sometimes you got to work with the parents exactly Exactly. Yeah, that's true too. Because even I even think sometimes the parent even doesn't realize their ab- their ability, and they bring in things that the child can see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I even think because I've seen a client where the child was afraid of the mother sometimes, oh, and I used to think, yeah. I used to think, well, why are you so afraid of your mom? Why is so? Because there's somebody by her all the time, you know. And oh, it's like, oh yeah. What? So yeah. So sometimes I think. That even, you know, when you're attracting something, maybe, I don't know, maybe the mom did some things in the past. I don't know. I don't know for yeah. sure. But sometimes, yeah. you know, and so I, at one point I just tell them, oh, well, you know, you know, pray, just think this, or, you know, do that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyways, so this is the end of the show. I just want to thank you, Willow, so much. We had a good oh, chat. I thought we did it really was good. fun. Yeah. It I was. loved it. See, Jerry, you don't have to worry about us. <laughs> did excellent i want to thank you sarge so much thank you for everything everybody thank you for all the questions in the chat we'll see you good night